I'm Jojo and this is The Sound of Jojo. Yeah, it's a very, very different setup today. I'm in a completely different location. I'm actually up at my mum's right now. I'm filming this on my computer. And I went down to Sydney today to see Frozen, so I'm going to talk about it. This show is wonderful. It was so much fun. Everyone did such an amazing job. And even though you have to change a lot, when you're adapting something that's animated to not. Or oh, you don't have to change anything at all. That's apparently what Disney's doing right now. But for a circumstance like this, you have to change things. And for the most part, they did that very well, I think. For the most part, I think the things they had to and did change was very well done. I know going in, I was particularly interested in seeing how they would do it from a storytelling and timeline point of view since you know let it go with the big iconic showstopper and therefore the one that has to end the first act but as for the timeline of the movie that scene is a lot earlier than when you would have intermission I was really wondering to see whether act one would be a lot shorter and slower and then just everything would be happening in act two which it was but not in the way I thought it might be. It happened after Let It Go in the film. Happens before Let It Go in the musical. But the story is pretty much the same. It feel weird to see them happen before Let It Go. Because it all sort of takes place that night. All the scenes that you see in the musical that happened before Let It Go. But are after Let It Go in the movie. All take place in pretty much the same night. While obviously things had to be moved around and changed a little bit, it didn't feel like the story was lopsided. The entire cast was wonderful, as per every Elsa to have ever played the role ever. Our lovely Gemma Ricks also did Alphaba, and she's wonderful. I've actually met her. She's lovely. I wasn't surprised at all that she got the role, because I think all but one person who's ever played this role since it started the theatre has not done Elfie because, well, I didn't know. So I pretty much knew she was going to get the role and she did amazing. Totally felt Elsa's pain about having to do the thing she did about having to hide her powers and how that actually hurt her. Get a bit more of that in the show than you get in the movie. Through out through the new songs, which we'll talk about in a minute. We get to see a bit more of Elsa being tortured by having to be away from Anna. And she pulled that off wonderfully. And, and her voice. Well, I'll leave a link to the video she did where she sang Let It Go on, I don't know what it was. Sunrise? Something. It's amazing. Elsa doesn't really do much dancing. The whole exchange with the Duke of Weaseltown about how she doesn't dance. And that's in here as well. But Anna... Anna definitely does dance and Courtney pulled all that off perfectly. She did, she did Anna's bubbly, sunny, enthusiastic personality so well. And yeah, and she did great with the dancing, which is yeah, something you don't really see Elsa do too much, but oh my god the dancing. And then you've got Matt Lee as Olaf and oh my god the puppet was amazing. It could look a little weird at how you've got the puppet and then you've got someone working the puppet who is very clearly not trying to or meant to be invisible but at the same time that doesn't look weird at all. Sean Sinclair as Kristoff was awesome. Obviously transferring the movie to stage means we gotta add more songs so finally Kristoff gets to sing and kind of like how we get to see a bit more of Elsa that we don't see in the movie we get to see a bit more from Kristoff's perspective of how he feels about Anna. Like the scene right at the end of Fixer Upper goes a little differently, but that's specifically so we get to see how Kristoff feels about her. And he also played off Sven perfectly. Now I'm not sure which person was in the reindeer's I'm not sure which person was in the reindeer suit today, because there are two people who play the role, but only one at a time. I'm not sure who it was, but Whoever it was, they did an amazing job. And the reindeer suit just in general is insane. Sven's not in a whole lot of scenes that you might think he would be in, but that's obviously very much by design. I mean, 
walking around in that thing must be insane. But not once did spin feel not real. And I didn't even really sort of think about how it was actually a human, not just a animatronic puppet sort of thing. What an amazing way to do that character and seriously kudos to the guy in the suit. Like when they come out for the curtain call he's still in the reindeer suit. <laughs> so huge props. Hans was, well I don't like his character any more than I did in the movie but the actor was amazing. Love is an open door when he and Courtney were doing all the dancing that was just insane. Dancing in that scene in a lot of the scenes actually, I'll talk about that more in a minute, was just crazy. Not only was it brilliant but it was just hilarious. Kind of a ooh sort of reaction when you get to the scene where he reveals his master plot. The ensemble were amazing. Some of the dance moves reminded me a little of the whole thing in um Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. If you've if you've seen Cursed Child you kind of know what I mean. It's in the way they moved some of the time and how that worked with the intensity of the scene, especially at the end. The ensemble did all the dancing when everybody was running around on the frozen lake trying to do the thing. Everybody looking for Anna and then Hans looking for Elsa. And the way they freeze Anna is pretty damn genius, especially from a choreography perspective. And so the new songs. Obviously when you turn something like this into a stage musical there's gonna be more songs and they were all wonderful. My favorite one was definitely What Do You Know About Love? But possibly the most hilarious was Hugo. First of all just the way Oaken opens Act 2 is hilarious. It's very much breaking the fourth wall and though he's actually talking to you the audience Hello people in the snow, people on the ceiling. <laughs> Always just like, hey, if I want you to respond, but I know you're not going to, because that's not what you do at musicals. The way Act 2 opened with them, that was hilarious. And the dancing in Huga was hysterical. And honestly, the melody of that song reminded me a bit of, can you imagine that, from Mary Poppins Returns. Everyone was great. The show is great. Sydney people, if you want to see it you better get in quick, it's leaving at the end of next month. If you're in Victoria, well it's coming to you soon. The only thing that didn't really kind of work for me, but there were a lot of blinking lights. Basically throughout the entirety of Act 2, basically after Let It Go from then on, Elsa's dress is always twinkling, always blinking, and sometimes stuff like that can hurt my eyes. I'm fine, I was fine. Blinking lights were something I was not offended with, but that's that's not anything against the show at all. And honestly, it's not even really a personal preference thing. It's just a me thing. And before we went off to the show, we went to a little cafe nearby that did a frozen themed tie-in menu. Thank you for bringing that to my attention, Tyler. I have never eaten a bigger croissant in my life. And that's everything I've got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you've seen Frozen on stage, would absolutely recommend it. Obviously I can't speak for any particular production or company since I've only seen one, but for the show as a whole, yes, go see it. Next week will probably be a Hamilton review. I'm going to see it again on Sunday with my cousin and I've specifically left it this long because I'm sitting in the dress circle this time so I want to talk about different angles. That will be the week after next at the latest. Hopefully next week. But that's everything. I hope you guys are all staying safe. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my video next week. So long for well.